Hello everybody, Mike aka vmagico 13 here with Kerbal Space Program 0 0.22, the uh, career mode series. This is episode 2. I'm probably going to wait when speaking during scene changes because last video there were a lot of audio cutouts, which hopefully are fixed now, but I'm not sure about. So since last time, I have unlocked the stability um, tech node, which has given us nose cones, winglets, which I'm looking forward to, and radial decouplers, which are going to be extremely useful. So what I want to try to do today is get something into orbit, and if we can actually get it, if we're lucky, we might be able to make it to the moon. Not to land on the moon, but just to, uh, you know, go around it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this or not, but I'm really hoping that I can. That's actually, we have LV-909s now. Let's use that. Could actually make this upper stage smaller. I'm worried that that might be too small, though. But let's try it. That might be fine. Uh, I don't need those. Do need parachutes. Helps if I attach them. And let's go with another stack decoupler. Unfortunately, we have only these tiny fuel tanks. Now that we have radial decouplers, we can attach a few other stacks. You know what we don't have though? Struts. This is going to be interesting without struts. And it used to be in older versions that nose cones weren't useful. They might actually have a use now. Um, Supposedly, they increase your vehicle stability, but I don't know how true that is. I actually want to add another stage into here if we're going to attempt, um, if we're going to attempt getting to the moon. I honestly don't know if we'll have enough fuel, so no promises there. All right, this should be good now. This thing is going to be ridiculously tall. We don't have, no, of course not. We don't have any, um, wow, I can't think of any words today, apparently. I'm sorry. Um, I, we don't have the launch clamps. So this thing's going to have to sit on the launch pad. Hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, let's add a mystery goo container this time, since I forgot it last time. Let's actually add two. I've seen these. Yeah, I kind of like these. Like this. Alright, so let's name this Orbital 1. Save. Oh yes, I also hired Dudebert Kerman because his name is entertaining to me. So yes, we're going to send Dude Bert on this, uh, on this mission. Now let's make sure everything here is correct. I don't know why these are separated. Now this engine should fire with the rest of them. Actually, that might be too high of a... Yeah, so let's, let's do this separately. That engine should fire, this engine fires. This is this decoupler. And that engine, and then we've got this decoupler. And the other engine. And then that decoupler and the parachute. All right, so that should be good. Launch.
I do really wish we had uh, batteries, but unfortunately we don't. Let's actually observe this. That used up all of our electric charge, so hopefully we're actually still allowed to launch. Um, I think a crew report's not worth anything. Yeah, just discard. Okay. That is away. We are good for launch. This thing's not particularly stable. It keeps rotating. After we drop the first stage, I'm going to start my uh, roll. I knew it. I knew it help. If I stop, I apparently forgot how to play this game. Um, I keep pressing the arrow, not the arrow keys, but WASD, trying to adjust some stuff, and it's causing me to roll, and I'm not actually canceling the roll. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so we want 90. Let's open up map view. Yeah, we need to flatten out. Oh, this thing will not turn over. And now, of course, I say that, and then it's going to turn over too far. <laughs> All right, so if we can get this over to 45. forty kilometer apoapsis, still halfway on the liquid fuel. Dudebert is freaking out. This might end up having to be a two-parter. I may also just have to cut a lot. Let's try to turn over some more. I'm glad I added that second upper stage. At the very least, that's going to be needed probably for orbital insertion. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go to the moon or not. I'm going to have to try to plot a free return trajectory. Trajectory? Oof. Um, which I've never actually done before. So I'll probably have to cut the video and set that up because you guys won't want to watch that. Um, I'll set that up and then you guys can see it. That is also assuming we have enough fuel because this stage is about to run out. We're up to 71 kilometer apoapsis. I think we just, yeah, we just cut out a fuel. There we go, this thing, this stage is fast. Here, I'm actually going to coast up to apoapsis. And then we can try to circuli circularize our orbit some. Let's point this down. Note in a minute, burn 17 seconds. We are now in space. Wonder what the canisters say. Let's transmit that. Not enough electric charge. Hmm. Well, there we go. That should finish it. We will get our charge back. That will retract. Burning up. Burn almost completed. Let's throttle down. Not quite out of the atmosphere yet. 
7375. We have made orbit. For the first time we have made orbit. Let's actually do a crew report. That's not terribly useful. This is probably going to be the same. Um, let's just discard that. Crew report. I already did this. Whatever. Just send it. Alright. So we've got a little bit of fuel left in this stage. I'm going to cut the video here and see if I can't get an intercept with the moon. See you in a minute. Alright, well, this is what I've come up with. So it should give us a moon periapsis of around 200 kilometers, which is not as close as I'd like, so we might be able to tweak that some further on. Um, but it should bring us back to about 70 kilometers. Um, Getting into the atmosphere would be a little preferable, so with some tweaks we should be able to do that. Um, but I don't actually, it's really hard to tell what is even going on over here, but it's kind of interesting. It's like we come up below it and then kind of spiral around it a little bit and then somehow escape. So I think we're actually going to end up being on the day side when we do it but uh yeah the burn is coming up let's time warp a little bit to about 10 seconds until the node all right so now i'm just gonna burn up till we oh Looks like that stage is done. Stage. We might be able to do this. LV-909s are weak, but it doesn't have to push a whole lot of mass. All right, we're coming up to being complete. Let's throttle down a bit. Try to get this as exact as possible. All right, let's just kill this. Took that a little too far, but we have the fuel, so it's okay. So we are on a trajectory to the moon. And that will get us back with a periapsis of about 310,000, which for some reason is increasing. Um, and an encounter with the moon with a periapsis of 140. And we're going to do some weird spiral around it, but I like that I can see Pole, Tylo, and Bop. All right, let's time warp up. I wonder how far am I? I'm about to break a thousand K. Let's see. Can I do crew report? It's very round. Uh, let's send it. It feels right at home here. Interesting. Um, EVA. So we don't need the node anymore, so EVA report. That was a rather unexciting one. Can I get back in? Oh, F, yeah. I forgot, don't actually have to click. So we're still good on fuel. Um, we're running low on electric charge. It would be nice to do this with solar panels, but let's Time warp up. Yes, if we had solar panels, we could just take a bunch of science. When we get close to the encounter, 
This is, this is funny, we're so far away from the moon right now. When we get close to the encounter, I'm going to slow down. Okay, maybe not that slow. One hour. We want to be going in one times time acceleration when we cross in order to make sure everything stays how it's predicted. Periapsis appears to have dropped down some from what was predicted. Three, two, one. About to cross the sphere of influence. 20, 19, 18, 10, 9, 9. Alright, so we should be able to see the moon. It's Kerbin, there's the moon. It actually looks bigger than Kerbin now. And this video is getting kind of close, so let's um, observe the goo here. That is worth a lot. Um, let's do a crew report. Looks really beat up with craters, yes. Um, EVA report. Alright, get back in. Now let's time warp up to periapsis. If we're lucky, we will be able to cross the threshold into low. Which one has the 10? Shoot. Hopefully it was that one. Review data. Nope! Oh, uh, great. Discard that. Observe. Keep. I think we are still high over the moon. Crew report. Cancel. So we should get down to a 65 kilometers. All right. We are just about as close as we can get. So let's do another EVA report. We're still considered high over the moon. Um, board anyway, dump. And this will probably overwrite. Yeah, we don't want that. Review data, this is high over the moon. This is high over the moon. Um, let's just keep both of those. So I think no matter what, we're gonna end up being high over the moon. Okay, so we are going to exit the moon sphere of influence, come back up to the apoapsis, and then I'm going to try to reduce our periapsis down some in order to take us back to Kerbin. So let's time warp up, say goodbye to the moon. Goodbye, moon. Time warp up faster all right come on apparently we already made it past that and now we don't need to adjust that because we're going to be this isn't even what <laughs> that's not right All right, let's go back to the tracking center. Hopefully this is fixed now. Orbital one, on escape trajectory out of Kerbin. What? That's not true. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, that is not an escape trajectory. We still don't have anything in terms of electric charge. I don't, oh, I do have an apoapse. Okay, so let's try to lower our periapsis down. Uh, 
Get this below 70. I'd like something maybe like 20. We don't have deadly reentry this time, so that's not so bad. 20. There we go. 20 kilometers. Let's go. Goodbye, moon. It was nice knowing you. All right, we're going to be going probably close to two kilometers per second. Whoa, we are going three. This is going to be fun, and we're going to land over water. All right, let's turn SAS off. Time warp up. All right, dude, Bert. Time to see what you're made of. By that I mean, hopefully you don't uh, get splatted all over the capsule. That's not what I mean by what you're made of. Well, you appear to not have the uh, the third flag that Jeb has, where you just enjoy everything. Well, we could actually slow this down some. We still have crap tons of fuel. Okay, apparently I can't. Let's eject. We're still going very, very quickly. Let's throw the chute. That thing's just... Oh, wow. Oh, I still have time warp on. That's why. That makes way more sense now. Oh, we almost were going to land on land. That thing might. No, no, that's going to land on water. All right, come on, slow down. Slow down. Below 100. Please. Okay, we're below 100. Parachute. Good. Good. We made it. All right. I would totally take him out and do an EVA report, except we know what we learned last time. Uh, new rule. No EVAing in atmosphere. So, yeah, this looks like it's going to be successful. Let's get him down. Make sure that my frame rate stays above 30. All right. Ooh, that was a little bit premature, it seems. Uh, it's upside down. There we go. Let's see, EVA. Let's see if we can get another EVA report. This is the most precarious situation. Oh, this is considered desert. Sweet. Okay, so let's... Recover this vessel. We should get a load of science out of this. 137 total. 107.9 earned on this mission. And just think of what would have happened if we had batteries. So we got crew reports, EVA reports, mystery goo. This one's disappointing. Recovery of a vessel return from a flyby of the moon, 12 science. Sweet, so let's see what we can get really quick and then end this video. Batteries, I would like them. We also get a new comms dish and the science junior, so let's get that. Does that even unlock? Solar panels, that would be useful. Ladders and a thermometer. We can actually just barely afford these. Landing struts, gear bays. We're going to need batteries. Uh, this requires flight control and science tech. So we need this one first. Hmm. All right, this one has struts and launch clamps. That could be useful. And this one has more engines. Can we afford... Oh, you actually need this one first. So let's get this one. Larger fuel tanks and the radial mounts, not worth it in my opinion. Okay, struts, definitely worth it. But what else can we get? I would like these batteries, ba these basic electrics. We did not, we did know about electricity before inventing spaceflight. The big breakthrough here was combining the two. Oh yes. Um, so if we want batteries, we should get this one. If we want, you know, not dying, we should get this one. 
I want batteries really badly in order to be able to do anything. So let's go with this one and see what we can do from there. All right, guys, I'm Magico13. We have successfully gone to the moon. And uh, I will see you all next time.